can focus. Can you focus? Focus on me. I don't know if it's it's not in focus as my eyes that I cannot see because I've not been wearing my glasses. Hi guys. Hi guys. I am back. I am back. And I don't really have that much to say. All I have to say is I saw my week was last week. And um which means my room is a total mess. Right now, it was even worse before. I tried to do some tidying, but then I couldn't be bothered. So I decided to run away from Leicester instead. So the whole weekend, I haven't been home just because I didn't want to be in this messy room. But then now I have come back because I cannot be away forever. My room was progressively getting messier and messier and messier. And obviously, you know the stress that comes with assessment week and everything. But yeah, now that's all done. That's over. And I need to get my room back in shape for next week because we're starting a new project how fun anyways i was indifferent about she's in this video because obviously i just going to be watching me clean my room and i was going to try and find something to talk about about how i'm going to change my life but then uh, i really don't know what i'm going to talk about so i'm just going to clean my room and i'm just going to sit here and watch me clean my room um i think i'm going to start from like the, the kitchen kitchen area just clean the kitchen quick, quick, quick. So this marked the start of a very well-deserved reading week, study week, self-enhancement week. I don't know what it's actually called, but then it was a very well-deserved break because the year didn't start off on the high notes that I wanted it to. Last year, I was on a high, like I was in the gym, I was boxing, I was doing everything that I planned to do, but then this year didn't start off like that. It was just uni, 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 every single day. It's been so fast paced and I guess that's understandable because I'm in second year now, but then uni has literally taken up every single day that God has given me since the year started. And I haven't been doing life right now. Life has been doing me for real. I've been going through it. Every time someone asks me how I'm doing, I don't say I'm good. I don't say I'm okay. I don't say I'm all right. I just say I'm surviving because quite frankly, I'm just surviving, I'm just getting along, I'm just managing, like, I've been going through it too, guys, check on your sister for real. I personally don't feel like I'm the best version of myself right now, there's like lots of things that I used to do that I can't find the time to do anymore, and I hope to change that in the coming weeks, but for now, I guess that's a sacrifice I have to make to channel all my energy into my uni work, like it's been tunnel vision on doing my best in uni, and everything comes second. But then I still feel like I need to balance my life out a bit more and do some of the things that I used to, I love doing. You get what I mean? So in the coming weeks, hopefully that can change. And if it's not changing, promise me in the comments because sometimes I don't even realize that I'm putting myself in a routine. I just get up and carry on with my day. But aside all of that, this week was so needed. Like considering one of my favorite things to do is sleep. I hadn't done that in a while and I miss the days that I could do absolutely nothing all day and not feel bad about it. Like when we're in the thick of a project at uni, you can't even comfortably sleep. I'm telling you the truth. It's like there's always that unsettling feeling that there's work to be done. You know that sound? At this time, you are sleeping. The moment I put my head down to sleep, that sound is just ringing in my head. Like, why are you sleeping? Get up and do work. That's always what's on my mind. It's so real. Like, it's so real. Every time I'm even eating, I have to time myself eating so I'm not wasting too much time. That's how critical it gets sometimes. Guy, I've just been surviving. I really needed this week off and technically it wasn't really a break. We had tasks that we were assigned to do, but then I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered though. I decided I'll catch up later and I actually did so it's calm. I just really needed life to slow down for me for a few days so I can actually catch my breath. Please do not comment on my bed sheets being creased. I used to iron them, but now I cannot be bothered. If you have a problem, go and iron your own bed sheets. Don't come and disturb me. But yeah, deep cleaning my room after a project is so important for me. Like that's how I know that yes, I've completed a learning block and all glory to God, I clean my room and reorganize all my tools and materials that I was using and everything just resets for me. It always feels like a fresh slate before the new project starts. Again, I will say that uni took up every single day since I got back to Leicester. I have to say it again so that you people understand 
if I wasn't in the studio or in a session or in a class, I was in a library. If I was not in the library, I would have been sewing in my room for hours and hours on end. Like, I barely got the chance to see my friends properly. So I made it a point to see them and some of my favorite people that week. I had to see them because I hadn't seen them in like two months. In such good timing, Marianne had her birthday dinner so I could see everybody at once. It was fab. It was such a breath of relief to finally do something different. Eats food that is different. You understand what I mean? There was some exotic dancing and everything. It was just good vibes. I also got the chance to see my sister as well. I went down to London and we went to get food from a food hall. We had the chance to catch up, but unfortunately I didn't get the chance to stay in London. So I couldn't go home to see my brother or my aunt and my uncle. But in a few weeks I'll be home, so we'll be good, we'll be Gucci. After that, I went to a Shelly Poppy concert, Pluto Presidu. They call me Shelly Poppy. Only one Pluto Presidu. Clear road for all back. Oba Pluto wrote for Oba Charlie Ogege. <laughs> I was see Charlie Poppy and I was too excited. I was too excited, too too excited. After that, I did a quick trip to Birmingham for a little aquarium date. You don't need to know about that one. Anyway, all in all, it was super super relaxing. A very well deserved resting week. That's what I will call it. All right, so I'm not gonna talk again. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. Peace out. Honestly, for like the past two days, I have not been doing anything. I've just been resting, sleeping, and editing vlogs. So I haven't really been vlogging anything because nothing has been happening. And because of that, I completely forgot that I was doing weekly vlogs. I'm back on my Zoom. It's like 11.30 right now, and I've come back. Tomorrow, I'm going to London. I'm going to see my sister for a bit, and then I'm going to a Shally Poppy. Shally Poppy concert. Shelly Poppy concert and um honestly I don't have an outfit because for the past few weeks I've only been thinking about uni work I wasn't thinking about Shelly Poppy concert now the Shelly Poppy concert is tomorrow and I don't have an outfit to wear so I'm going to spend the next hour looking for an outfit and packing up because my coach is at 6 30 so I cannot afford to be packing in the morning I just want to get up, get fresh, and then go and catch the coach. So I'm gonna pack up everything tonight and hopefully find an outfit tonight. And then I'll sleep. Let's get into it. Hi guys. Um, it's like 6 a.m. right now, and I'm awake, I'm ready. Hello.
We're here to eat food. I'm too close. Yes! I don't know how I'm trying to look behind the camera and stop gonna see. I'm 